What's up everyone and welcome to another video. This weekend it's the 14th and the 15th of January 2023 and I'm in Wroclaw, Poland. I'm here for the event Link Up Free Dance Hall and it's my first event and the first battle of 2023. I'll be participating as always in the one versus one dance hall in the 18 plus solo category. I'm already seeing one versus one, 18 plus, because there's a lot of different categories for this event. I think we have also two versus two. We also have the beginners. We also have the the ages 14 till 17, I think. So it's a lot of different categories, but I'm only registered for one. Like I said, the one versus one for the adults or the 18 plus. It's my first time at this event. It's their ninth edition already, actually. So it's kind of weird that it's my first time participating in this event. But yeah, for everything a first time and whether it's their first or their ninth edition, I'm happy to be part of it. It's now close to 11 a.m. I woke up at around 7.30. That's actually my usual time in the weekend. I showered. I first went to the supermarket um, here, like 250 meters from here. It's like in a shopping mall, the supermarket there. Got some food, my breakfast, also my lunch and probably be actually also my dinner for today so i'll have all my food uh with me at the hotel room so i don't need to necessarily get out to get extra food so came back had my breakfast and now i'm just chilling a bit i'm killing some time before i will be heading out to the event the event itself starts around 12 31 then the registrations happen for the people who haven't registered in advance yet that's something that i already did i always do it beforehand so the organizers know that i will be there i mean it's just for them to know that who will be there in the sense of the number of participants it's made their scheduling a little bit easier and also for me that i know that i'm registered i don't have to worry about it the day itself or during the event then for my category i saw the schedule and i think mine starts around Five with the pre-selection so the other categories of the younger people or the people with less experience will be before that so i'll probably head out somewhere in the afternoon maybe at three maybe at four to go to the event the event is super close to the hotel like i always try to book my hotel pretty close to the event so i don't have to travel an hour to go from the hotel to the event all also allows me to get to go easily back to the event if I need to for some, some specific reason to get something, to get some stuff or whatever. That just makes it a little bit easier. I can even walk. I think it's a five minute walk from the hotel. I think it's basically the same street. So what I'm going to do now in the time in between, like it's already or, or it's close to 11 a.m. So probably around 12, 1230, I will have my lunch with the stuff that I bought. Fun fact, I never eat Oreos in Belgium or when I'm at home, but like the last two, three events, when I saw them in the shop, I buy them. They are vegan, so I can eat them. So yeah, that's something small that I would add. It's not like a big package. I think it only has four in them. Something else that I will also do or probably do during like the free time, quote unquote, free time that I have now until the battle is play on my Switch. For Christmas, I got Monster Hunter Stories too, so that I'm playing now. I don't play a lot actually the most of the times if I play it's when I'm traveling and I have some time that I cannot use for training or working out or whatever then I have some time to do that like I played half an hour earlier before recording this and I also am reading in a book called Marked is the follow-up of Legendborn by Tracy Tian. So yeah it's the second book of the trilogy or the cycle. I can actually exactly read it here because I'm using it as actually a way of putting my camera a little bit higher. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's what I'm reading now as well. So I'm switching between these things. Then I'll also, after lunch, look into my preparation for the battle. And I arrived yesterday, yesterday evening. I think it was at the hotel at 10, 10, 15. I'm um, traveling went smooth compared to what happened when I went to Greece. That took me like 17, 18 hours, canceled flights or missed flight and so on. This one went pretty smooth, had a layover in Munich, arrived on time, we left on time and we arrived nicely on time in Poland. So that was a, an easy travel. It's about time to leave, made all my preparations except for changing my outfit. 
as you can see it's different from before instead of a gray white-ish shirt i'm now rocking a red one if you don't know yet red is my favorite color as you can see color of my phone color of the shirt um shorts is the same that didn't change uh, what changed though is the tights so instead of an all black tights it's now this camo type of um, print so yes outfits change for the new year for 2023 um, spicing things up a bit let's go okay drew on my long pants to go to the event also my jacket have my backpack and yeah, ready to leave. As I said, it's a five minute walk from the hotel. It's the day after the event, it's Sunday. I'm almost um, prepping to check out and go to the airport. But before leaving, I wanna give you a recap of what happened yesterday. So yesterday at the event uh, for the pre-selection, we were with 39 people, I think, who had to do a pre-selection of 45 seconds. And it was two dancers at the same time, not against each other. We were both facing the three judges. And from that, they made it a top 16 selection unfortunately i didn't make it to the top 16 and up until this point i have basically no clue why that happened the round that i did i was the third person so basically the second group of two people who did the pre-selection and like it was not my best round ever i'm not gonna say that it was definitely also not my worst round ever it was on a song i don't think i ever heard before but again, like I said, it was not necessarily a bad round or for that matter, the best round I ever did. So I'm still not sure how I didn't make it to the top 16. And I have enough, enough experience, more than 50 battles to have some idea of when I should be in the top 16 or top 8 or when I should make it to a pre-selection. So if my round would be total shit, I'll have no problem with admitting that I don't belong in the top 16 at that event. But yeah, up until now, like I haven't seen any tape of my pre-selection. I don't know if they recorded anything. I know that they, like from the event itself, um, I know that they recorded the battles for sure and they took pictures of the pre-selection. I don't know if they recorded any tape of the pre-selection. If there's any, if there's tape, then of course I hope I can have a look at it um, to see what went wrong. But I saw the people who did the battles at the top 16 and for some of them, of course I saw their pre-selection and I was like, yo, your pre-selection was not better than mine. And I definitely could take them in a battle. Like, this is not to sound big headed or to sound like oh, I can beat everyone. Like, like I said, after more than 50 battles, I have some experience. I know some things that I see that people do in rounds that I'm like, mm, you know what? I can take that person. But okay, it is where it is. Like, I didn't make the top 16. This is not how I hope that this event would go that my first event of 2023 would go but okay that's also part of of the journey that's part of the work as well 
So today I'm traveling back and tomorrow we go back to training. And this is something important that I want to give to you as to understand, like, regardless of what happened yesterday, I could have won the whole damn event or I could have not made it to the pre-selection as what happened this time. Tomorrow I will train again. I will have my three sessions. I will just train as I always do. The win or the loss doesn't change anything to that. Of course, I would have felt better winning. But yeah, that doesn't mean that suddenly I will sit in a corner and cry for the next week, you know? So once I'm back, all preparations will be for my next battle in two weeks in Torino at the Torino Dance Hall Movement. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Torino, if you've been to Wokra and what the most exciting thing was you did there or want to do if you want to go there in the future. As always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Go out.